surface areas and volumes okay okay welcome back to my youtube channel in the last lesson we started chapter number 13 surface areas and volumes in this lesson we'll discuss two questions from exercise 13.1 question number 1 and question number 2 so here you can see unless stated otherwise take pi as 22 by 7 the approximate value first question two cubes each of volume 64 centimeter cube are joined end to end find the surface area of the resulting cuboid very simple question the side length of the cube are not given but the volume is given so first you have to do the reverse step to find out the edge one side of the cube so in the last year in ninth standard you have studied the formula to find the volume of a cube what is that formula formula is volume of a cube is equal to a cube and that is given 64 here so the side length of this cube will be a is equal to cube root of 64 so what will be cube root of 64 cube of which number is 64 that is 4 right 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 so cube root of 64 will be 4 so that will be the side length of this cube so now consider the surface area of the resulting cuboid formed by joining two such cubes so the figure will look like this one cube uh, and it is connected by another cube of same side length so the picture will look like this so the total length of the cuboid will be 4 plus 4 that is 8 centimeter and the breadth and height will be 4 each now in the last lesson we have discussed the total surface area of a cuboid the formula was like this 2 times lb plus bh plus hl now substitute values 2 into l into b 8 into 4 plus b into h that is 4 into 4 plus h into l that is 4 into 8 now you look here inside the bracket in each term there is 4 so 4 can be taken outside the bracket so 2 times 4 outside the bracket that will become 8 and inside the bracket it remains only 8 plus 4 plus 8 now 8 times 8 plus 4 plus 8 will be 20 so 8 into 20 what is 8 into 20 that is 160 centimeter square so this will be the total surface area of the resulting cuboid so you want to give a conclusion the total surface area of the resulting cuboid is 160 centimeter square now look question number two a vessel in the form of a hollow hemisphere mounted by a hollow cylinder the diameter of the hemisphere is 14 centimeter and the total height of the vessel is 13 centimeter find the inner surface area of the vessel so when you get questions like this first you want to read the question twice or thrice and understand the question very well and draw a rough figure as some of the dimension may not be given but you want to find out by subtracting or adding the given dimensions so just answer the question by drawing the figure first so a vessel in the form of a hollow hemisphere mounted by a hollow cylinder so i draw like this hollow hemisphere and it is mounted by a hollow cylinder a total height is 13 and hemispheres uh, diameter is 14 so the, this diameter is 14 i think i shall draw by dotted line this diameter is 14 and total height is only 13 so it looks like this okay so the the vessel will look like this a hemisphere mounted by a hollow cylinder 
at the total height 13 we can write here 13 so i ask you some question what will be the radius of the hemisphere and what will be the radius of the hollow cylinder they they are same and they will be the half of 14 right 14 is the diameter of the hemisphere so its half will give you the base radius of the cylinder or the radius of the hemisphere that is 7 centimeter 7 centimeter will be the radius of both hemisphere and cylinder and what will be the height of this cylinder so you look here uh, i draw one radius of the hemisphere here it will be again 7 right and the total height is 30 so the balance height that is the height of the cylinder will be 13 minus 7 right what is 13 minus 7 that is 6 right 6 centimeter so we got all the measurements we need to apply in our formulas now we can just make some relation between the areas of these uh, figures to find the area of the combination of these figures that's the vessel so in the question it is told to find the inner surface area so here we should assume that the inner surface area and the outer surface areas of this particular figure will be same so the inner surface area of the vessel will be how can we make the relation it will be the sum of the curved surface area of these two basic 3d figures right that is curved surface area of hemisphere of hemisphere plus curved surface area of cylinder right so we apply the formulas for the hemisphere the curved surface area will be 2 pi r square and for the cylinder the curved surface area is 2 pi r h here you can take 2 pi r outside the bracket so 2 pi r times r plus h will come and now apply values so 2 times for pi we can substitute 22 by 7 and 22 by 7 times r the radius is 7 and inside the bracket r plus h that is 7 plus height of the cylinder that is 6 now the 7 can be cancelled from the numerator and denominator and it remains 44 times inside the bracket 7 plus 6 that is 30 so multiplying this we will get 572 centimeter square that will be the inner surface area of the given vessel before we wind up just look at this answer once again in the first question two cubes are joined to form a cuboid their side length are not given but the volume of one such a cube is given so we, we do some reverse step if volume is given to find the side length you just take the cube root of the volume so you will get the side length as 4 so the figure will look like this a cuboid by joining two same cubes here length breadth and height can be found because the side length of the cube is 4 then apply the formula total surface area of the cuboid 2 times lb plus bh plus hl uh, substitute the values of lb and h and simplify and you will get 160 centimeter square and then the second question a vessel is formed by a hollow hemisphere is mounted by a hollow cylinder here the total height is given and the di diameter of the hemisphere is given and we want to find out the radius first radius will be just half of the diameter of the hemisphere and that will be the same for the hemisphere and the cylinder and the total height is 13 so the height of the cylinder will be the total height of the vessel minus the radius of the hemisphere so we will get 13 minus 7 is equal to 6 now make the relation what will be the inner surface area of the vessel sum of the curved surface areas of this hemisphere and cylinder 
apply the formulas and take 2 pi r outside and uh, substitute the values and simplify you will get to 572 centimeter square so that's all now in the next lesson we will continue exercise 13.1 until then see you bye